It's not quite a mystery I'm the one who's insecure You're the one that makes believe that we're all okay We're doing fine when we're both fighting just to stay To stay alive, a fragile state of mind That I can't quite survive Hey, what an intro was that, am I right? So welcome to the fourth installment of Camp NaNoWriMo Vlogs. I am in the car right now. I am about 10 minutes away from home and I was listening to that song. It is by uh, Crown the Empire. The name of the song is Lead Me Out of the Dark and I absolutely love it. It's on the Fallout album, deluxe edition or reissue, something like that. But yes, I am in the car. No, I have never actually done this before. But don't I look styling with my sunglasses and my hoop earrings? I am just in a really good mood today. So, today's vlog is obviously going to be a little bit different. So I was thinking about what I was going to do for today's nano vlog, and then I realized that I didn't actually have any parts of the story that I wanted to read to you guys today. And Shoshana and Lord Arjun are the two main characters of the story, so there isn't much more to say about the other characters. I did talk a little bit more than I intended to about Alana and Erasmus last week, as well as Mei Lin, who is Shoshana's sister. If you don't remember, I'm sorry if my head is out of the shot. Driving is more important than getting my head in the shot. Um, but, uh, the music's still playing. Um, <laughs> well, uh, so today I was thinking about what I was going to do, and I decided that I was just going to kind of do a mini brainstorm session, I guess you could call it. It's rainy, I'm inspired, I'm in a wonderful mood today. Sorry about my hair. Um, <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I'm actually quite upbeat today, which is very unusual. My day started out pretty crappy, and I'm really glad that it is no longer crappy. Uh, turn on your turn signal, thank you. Um, so... I was thinking about today's vlog. I was also thinking about what I was going to do for NaNoWriMo, and I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to do what I did last year, where I am going to do a vlog every day throughout the month of NaNoWriMo. However, I was thinking about what I did last year, and when I won NaNoWriMo, there wasn't much for me to vlog about anymore. This person is so slow. <laughs> there wasn't much for me to vlog about anymore. And so... I think when I win NaNoWriMo, because I'm definitely planning on winning NaNoWriMo this year, because I didn't actually redeem any of the prizes that I won last year, because I just honestly was way too lazy, <laughs> and I didn't have the money. Oh, nice stop! <laughs> I didn't have the money to buy them myself, and my parents didn't really feel like buying them for me. So I didn't redeem any of the prizes. I have a debit card now, so I will be able to purchase them on my own, but I'll definitely do that this year. So when I win NaNoWriMo, I will not be doing vlogs every day, but I will still do Congratulations Corner, which I always had trouble saying. <laughs> I will still do Congratulations Corner, except it will be every other day. So towards the end of November or whenever I win, you can expect that to be the last week of November, depending on how much homework I have. Um, we will see how that works out, but it will be every other day. I just pulled into the driveway, so I will see you guys in like, I don't know, Two minutes. Peace out. Hey guys, I'm feeling exceptionally lazy, so I'm not even out of my uni my nasty uniform yet. I'm just laying in bed, vlogging the rest of this video. My bed is, my room is disgusting, and I don't put any of away. But yes, so I will be doing vlogs every other day after I win, because um, there won't be as much to talk about, I think. And that's just from experience last year. I'm sorry, I'm so lazy, but... <laughs> um, that's just from experience last year, so I will be doing vlogs every other day, and every other day I will do probably a little motivational thingy, and I will also do um, Congratulations Corner, as I said. So today's video, as I also said earlier in the video, I am going to be doing a little brainstorming thing, because the thing is, the story that I talked about, I think the very first video that I ever did, Sheenan of Alchemy, I don't know if I actually told you the name of it, but I think I did. Um, Sheenan of Alchemy is the story that I'm going to be working on for NaNoWriMo. 
this year in November, not Camp NaNoWriMo, obviously, since that's almost over. Um, I hope you guys have been doing good with that, doing well with that. I hope you guys have all won and met your goals. April flew by, and we are almost done with school. I'm almost a senior. It's crazy. But I didn't write as much of Bondage as I had hoped to, but it has been busy, and this week is insane, and I have so many projects coming up, and oh, life of a high schooler. But today's vlog is about brainstorming, and it's kind of about brainstorming for Sheen of Alchemy and whatever stories you guys might be working on now. So I'm not going to do a cheat story for actual NaNoWriMo because I don't think that that's fair, and I don't cheat. I don't like that feeling, so that's why I didn't write as much of Bondage because I felt like I was kind of cheating a little bit too much with all the words that I had already written for Bondage. But I was thinking about doing a small little video session or something along the lines of that for doing little brainstorms where everybody can get together probably not a video but it will probably be over a forum or um maybe on my blog i will add a place that will be more like a forum so everyone can comment and everyone can get help for their stories and hear feedback from other people and put some ideas and stuff up because I think it's really great when you get to talk about your story with other people and you get feedback from them and they get feedback from you and it's just a constructive criticism kind of setup. So I was thinking about doing that with you guys. Um, I was going to tell you a little bit more about Sheena of Alchemy because I don't have that much planned out for it. But I do want to have it completely plotted out before I start NaNoWriMo this year because that was part of the problem. I had the plot details that I had last year were a little bit too vague so I had issues in some parts connecting the plots uh, scenarios that I did have written down so we're gonna see if I can avoid doing that this year and I think the whole brainstorming forum type ordeal is gonna be a good way to do that so I will have confirmed whether or not it's gonna be over a forum whether I'm gonna create it or whether or not it may be a mini video series that will probably be one to two minutes where I'll just explain something about Sheenan of Alchemy and then I'll let you guys comment below and you all can help each other out if you're writers um, that might just be something that happens what would you guys prefer would you guys prefer me doing a small little video telling you about my story and then my dad just came in and he brought me popcorn <laughs> but what would you guys prefer would you guys prefer the little forum idea or would you prefer for me to make a video maybe not every week but just whenever I feel like it until November um, where I'll tell you a little bit about my story and then you guys in the comments can talk to me about my story and talk to each other about your own stories whichever you guys prefer leave that down in the comments and I will look through them I may end up doing both ideas, so if you would like both ideas to happen, then leave that as a comment. So, she did of alchemy, I only have a few plot points. So, I don't have the time, because I do have homework to do, to go into details about everything, but in the video that I mentioned Sheen of Alchemy first, I did say it was a crossover between Lux Payne and Flamella Alchemist. Brotherhood more so. So... I have some plot points with Ed and Atsuki. Um, I definitely suggest watching slash reading Full Metal Alchemist if you haven't, and I totally suggest buying Lux Pain if you haven't played it. It's a very unheard of game. It's a very small scale game, but it is one of the most amazing games that I have ever played, and I've one of the only games that I've played more than once, probably like four or five times through. But you pick up things along the way, but I digress. Um, Edward, if you don't know, has a lot of emotional problems. He has reason to have emotional problems. He's had a very scarring background, and that is the kind of thing that manifests Sheenan in the game. And so Edward is a huge liability to creating a King Sheenan. That's not what they're called. I totally forget what they're called, but they're like where they manifest. So one person who has a incredibly strong emotion like something incredibly terrible happens to them um that's where it manifests and then all of the other related feelings and thoughts branch off from that it's like a boss pretty much but it branches off from that 
Sheenan. And there's different types and everything, but any, I'm not going to go into all that right now. But so it starts out as the um, organization that Atsuki works with has a reading on a dangerously high level of Sheenan. Obviously, this is like the boss Sheenan, but it's coming from Edward Elric. And so Asuki and Luyi, who is his partner, are sent out to go and investigate this Sheenan because it is a potential threat to a lot of people. So that's where it starts out. I don't remember exactly how my friend and I had planned it to end, but I'll probably have my own little way with it because I am going to be the sole author of this, even though credit to her for helping me come up with some of the plot points. But... If you guys have any ideas just relating to this, I know it's going to be a little bit difficult for you guys to do that because you don't know, you may not know an abundance about Full Metal Alchemist or Lux Pain, but especially if you know anything about Full Metal Alchemist, feel free to leave plot point suggestions from the actual Full Metal Alchemist manga or anime that would relate to strong feelings or reasons that Atsuki would have to try and rid Edward of these Shinin. Um, I know this video wasn't all that great, and I'm sorry about that, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. This is the last Camp Nano vlog, but I will start vlogging in November every day until the end of November. So I will see you guys on Sunday, and I hope you guys have done well with your Camp Nano writing, and I hope you guys have gotten a lot of writing done. I hope you've gotten more writing than I have done. So I will see you guys Sunday, as I've said for the third time now, and peace out.